Executive presence may be difficult to define, but we know it when we see it. Someone walks into a room and heads turn. Conversation opens to include them. When they ask, people answer. When they speak, people listen. When they lead, people follow. Wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do, personal presence can help you get there. Consider these attributes, skills, traits, habits, attitudes, with the intention to incorporate them into your own life. Number one, make your body language congruent with your words to build trust and credibility. When there's a contradictory message, remember that body language trumps. Two, walk, move, and gesture with energy. Your passion about your ideas, your projects, and in life in general engages others. And three, be professional, not professorial. Strive for simplicity. That is, never use a long word when a short word will do. Express your core idea with strong verbs and precise nouns. Use active voice. Don't let diction and dialect detract. Four, heed what I call the highlighter principle. That is, use your voice inflection, tone, intensity, pacing, pausing, volume, as a powerful tool to engage others, to lead a conversation, to command a crowd, and even to create a culture.